Isn't that enough? Matt, you have to understand this. Here we are today, where I talk out against drugs and psychiatric abuses of electric shocking people, mm -hmm. okay, against their will, of drugging children with them not knowing the effects of these drugs. Do you know what Adderall is? Do you know Ritalin? Do you know now that Ritalin is a street drug? Do you understand that? The difference is no, this was no, not Matt, against Matt, her will, though. Madam, Matt, this wasn't Matt, against your question. Will. Matt, I'm asking you a question. I understand Did there's you know? abuse of all of these things. No, you see, here's the problem. You don't know the history of psychiatry. I do. Aren't there examples, and might not Brooke Shields be an example of someone who benefited from one of those drugs? All it does is mask the problem, Matt. And if you understand the history of it, it masks the problem. That's what it does. That's all it does. You're not getting to the reason why. There is no such thing as a chemical imbalance. So postpartum depression to you is, is Matt, kind of a little psychological goo gobbledygook? Matt, no, no, I did not say I'm that. I'm just asking, what, you, no, what would you no, call it? No, abs that Matt, that is, that post now, now you're talking about two different things. But that's what she went on no. the antidepressant for. But what happens to the antidepressant, all it does is mask the problem. There's ways of vitamins and through exercise and various things. I'm not saying that that isn't real. That's not what I'm saying. That's an alteration of what, what I'm saying. I'm saying that drugs aren't the answer. That these, these drugs are very dangerous. They're mind-altering drugs. And there are ways of doing it without that so that we don't end up in a brave new world. The thing that I'm saying about Brooke is that there's misinformation, okay? And she doesn't understand the history of psychiatry. She, she doesn't understand in the same way that you don't understand it, man. Do, do you examine the possibility that these things do work for some people? That yes, there are abuses. And yes, maybe they've gone too far in certain areas. Maybe there are too many kids on Ritalin. Maybe electric shock is... kids on Ritalin, man. I'm just saying, but, but aren't there man. examples where it man. works? Man, man. You, you don't even... You're glib. You don't even know what Ritalin is. Once you establish the reality we live in, and the nature of what the physical body is, this biological computer, and the nature of what we are, which is consciousness. And then you start, as I have, um, looking at the way this world is structured and how it works and why they do this and why they do that. It suddenly brings into uh, crystal clarity why the world is structured as it is. If you start talking about chemical imbalance, you have to evaluate and read the research papers on how they came up with these theories, Matt. Okay? That's what I've done. And you go and you say, where's the, where's the medical test? Where's the blood test that says how much Ritalin is supposed to get? You're, you're, it's very impressive to listen to you because clearly you've done the homework and, and you know the subject. And you should. And, 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 and you should do that also because just knowing people who are on Ritalin isn't enough. You should be a little bit more responsible in knowing. I'm really. not prescribing Ritalin, Tom, and I'm not well, asking anyone else to do well, it. Well, you are. You're saying, saying no, I know some people who seem to have been helped. By I, but you're saying, but it's, uh, this is a very important issue. I, this I is couldn't a very, agree more. And you know what? And you're you're here on the Today Show, right? And to talk about it in a way of saying, well, isn't it okay and being reasonable about it when you don't know, and I do. I think that you should be a little bit more responsible in knowing what it is because you, you communicate to people.